All right, thank you. Okay, the recording is on. All right, thank you. So we can start. Good morning, everyone. Um, sorry for my network. My network was bad. I couldn't record. Yeah. So let's start. Uh, our stand up today is it's Monday and it's week eight. Uh, I'm so excited. Uh, so far we're on week week eight. So without further ado, let me just go through the agenda of today. Of course, we have presentation. So um, after presentation or the stand up, of course, we're going to have community building session, then tutorial introducing uh, Wiki Edge Challenge. Uh, the tutorial today is going to be flow detections and uh, in e commerce and credit card transactions. Yeah. And then, of course, we're going to have uh, independent challenge work. So I think I will handle it to the tutors then. I'll be back at the end if in case we have be having any announcement. Yeah. So I can hand it back to you, Radian. Okay. Thank you, Emilia. Yeah. So I think we can start everyone who's going to start. Yeah, and welcome to the new week. So who would like to start the presentation? There's only a few of us, and yeah, that's all, Matthews and Abraham, and Junior had joined. So yeah, Abraham, you can go. Okay, hello, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, let me share my, my screen. Uh, okay. I th uh, yes, sir. I think the the past the past uh, weeks I I didn't uh, attend the sessions well uh, because I I was having some medical uh, issue that that's why uh, I try to uh, do this uh, this week assignment. I didn't uh, complete it on time, but I was able to manage to submit the um, technical part uh, late, uh, which is uh, on Sunday, but I failed to uh, submit uh, the, tech, uh, the career challenge, uh, which was, I think, on uh, Friday and uh, Saturday, but I, I was only able to complete it on uh, uh, Sunday. At that time, the, the, the submission link was closed. Uh, so maybe if uh, if it's possible, I I would like to submit that too. Um, okay, and now let me uh, proceed to the presentation. So the the past uh, the the previous week uh, challenge uh, was to uh, to build a data warehouse for Ethiopian medical business. So again, we uh, we were also expected to uh, do some object detection uh, on uh, on some image from uh, Telegram uh, Telegram channel. Uh, there there was uh, a data scraping and uh, collection task for that task for the uh, for the previous task since my uh, my uh, Telegram account was blocked uh, when I tried to scrape to scrape the data. I wasn't able to use the Telegram API for scraping the data and to use uh, the beautiful soup and uh, you know Selenium. Uh, those uh, those methods were to need too much work and too much uh, computation time. So I just simply ask my peers and I use their data. Uh, so I didn't actually. Uh, do the scraping part. So I have get the data from my peers, and uh, the data I get from my peers contain uh, around uh, 7,498 rows with uh, 49 columns. Uh, it was, uh, I get these data from uh, uh, these Telegram uh, channels, uh, which was provided on. Uh, on the challenge uh, document. You can hear me, all right? Sorry about uh, the background. Yeah, we can hear you. OK, OK. Uh, uh, so I did uh, I did that. Uh, and I have also scraped uh, the image from two Telegram channels. I get about 134 images from one channel and about 4,732 images 
from uh, a channel called this cosmotics i don't know yeah uh, this this channel then uh, the, the next task was to clean the data and uh, transform transform it uh, when uh, doing the data cleaning uh, as i mentioned here i, I the data i get was uh, have about uh, 49 columns and from those columns about 33 of them have uh, missing values over 90 90 percent so this uh, i assume that these columns uh, don't don't have any um, usage for the future so i simply drop these uh, columns and i get uh, the remaining uh, three columns uh, have a missing value of uh, 15 percent and uh, six percent and uh, this message column clean the message uh, and the media type where uh, the corresponding column is and for, for for that to handle the missing values i uh, i uh, replaced it with no message no clean the message and unknown for media type this is the strategy i used to to clean the data and uh, to 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 do the standard uh, to standardize the, the, the data, I converted the date column to the correct uh, format. Uh, also, yeah, uh, converted to just making sure that uh, also the string columns are uh, in a string type, and I have make sure that the numerical data types are also expected. Uh, and yeah, for for the data validation i i did some basic uh, data validation like uh, i have checked the missing values and uh, for some columns for example for views we don't expect any negative values so i have checked some some uh, validation like this also then after i i did all all uh, uh, this clean up i saved the data into postgres uh, clean the data this this is my table name i i i did that then i did uh, data transformation using data dbt uh, data building tool uh, i didn't do much uh, as much uh, transformation i just uh, converted some of the columns uh, you know text columns into lowercase just to demonstrate some data transformation and i have converted uh, the date uh, to some specific date uh, format uh, so this this uh, is the data transformation i i did uh, using uh, dbt then after after that i i moved to uh, object detection using uh, yolo uh, so i i did uh, start and um, i i stored uh, the uh, the results for each image uh, which uh, which are the bounding uh, box uh, coordinate co confidence uh, scores and uh, class level for uh, for each of uh, 134 images i did that and i stored the result in uh, postgres database and i have also uh, did for uh, for this 400 500 uh, yeah, 4,732 images. But I, this this took uh, took so much time. So I stopped uh, the the computation since I, I didn't uh, have much time. So uh, I did that. I I I opened some of the the images from the results, some of the predictions, uh, some of the detections from this model were not correct. Uh, but uh, actually the model also indicates that because uh, when the, the model uh, make error, the confidence score is also uh, very low, which, which um, also makes sense. And for the last uh, task, I develop uh, a CRUD API in the points for uh, the clean data i have cleaned and stored previously 
I develop uh, some basic uh, API endpoint to get uh, to get uh, the data list of uh, for the list of messages and to uh, also to create uh, a message. I develop API for that to to get a single message and also to update the message and delete a message. So I did that. So I yeah. I have uh, successfully implemented the ETL uh, framework uh, for uh, for for the provided uh, Telegram uh, data. I have also successfully used this uh, YOLO pre-trained uh, model to detect the image and uh, developed uh, the fast uh, API for for uh, for CRUD uh, operation. Uh, so maybe as a recommendation and uh, for the future uh, work, uh, more uh, since we are uh, the the goal is to build the data warehouse for Ethiopian medical business model. Uh, the the data demonstrated on this uh, project are very small, so more data should be uh, provided and included into uh, uh, this uh, this project. And also, again, maybe some uh, some other uh, uh, pre-trained object detection uh, model should be uh, considered. Uh, these are some of my uh, my uh, recommendation uh, and uh, future work. Uh, thank you so much. If you have a question, you can ask. Me. Okay, thank you, Abraham, for presenting your work and also telling us the who's uh, the person in the consultant project. Yeah. So yeah, maybe uh, yeah yeah. Do you have any question? Uh, not a question, just a comment. Um, it it would be good if you included some of the screenshots for object detection uh, that would be great uh, and also uh, maybe this week you will include it uh, a front end for the apis that would be awesome thank you okay okay thank you uh, yeah yeah okay. maybe question um abraham you've mentioned that you've used DBT in order to specify some formats or to trans to make a, a slight transformation, like transforming the from lower keys to upper keys or uh, for the date format. I think you've mentioned that. So you felt like we cannot, uh, do you feel like if there is another transformation that we can make for this specific project? And is there any type of transformation that you told to do and that you haven't done? Or you feel like it is enough? Those transformations were enough. Yeah, I didn't uh, think uh, you know deeply. Uh, uh, you know, I I also thought the uh, the transformations I did uh, was not enough. So, like I I said, I didn't uh, get enough uh, time. That's why uh, actually I don't have any in mind even now to to do. Uh, additional yeah. transformation okay so i was just wondering if you, if you yeah i get it and maybe can you describe a lot more on the storing the detected image part how how have you done that so i uh, ex i i extract uh, the the results from the detected image are uh, in a text format so i simply uh, created a table which contain uh, the image name and uh, this uh, result like the confidence score the class label and the uh, boundary uh, co coordinates so I, I created that and so the model uh, in the for loop i use i use a for loop so in the for in the for loop the model uh, detects uh, detect the object in the image and store uh, wait abraham 
your voice is breaking or is that my uh, there is a in the in the database that, that I can use. Okay. I, I thought you were breaking. It might be my network too. I haven't heard some parts of it. Okay. Yeah, but thank you, though, Abraham. Thank you for the presentation. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Rarit. Then, so uh, who can go next? Matthias? Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay. Abraham, you can stop sharing. Uh, is my screen reserved? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you for giving me this chance. Uh, the last week project was uh, building a data warehouse to store data for Ethiopian medical business uh, that are scrapped from uh, Telegram channels. And, uh, uh, the main goal was uh, doing uh, uh, data collection by client, then uh, transforming the data uh, doing uh, ETL. Uh, then uh, warehouse design uh, and the data integration and the enrichment using uh, ETL. Uh, then using uh, your low use uh, to detect objects in different images that are uh, extracted, uh, scrapped from Telegram. Then using fast API uh, so that uh, we can do different CRUD operations. And um, uh, that was uh, the task we, are, we were asked to do. And uh, uh, my project structure looks like this, like you see here, uh, medical warehouse. Uh, like here, uh, half ten, uh, here is my uh, one folder, half ten uh, API, the API, uh, the first API. And then half ten data collection, uh, then half ten data cleaning, uh, then object detection. Uh, uh, my, my, my project uh, uh, directory structure looks like this. And then uh, from uh, when I start from the beginning, I have, uh, uh, there are some of the files I have uh, used in, in in my project's uh, directory. Uh, first, uh, the first thing I have done was uh, setting up my repo. Then after that, I have uh, moved to the task one, uh, scrapping uh, data from Telegram, scrapping. Uh, from these channels that are uh, mentioned in our task, like uh, Dr. E.T., uh, the, these five channels, and uh, then extracting image uh, from the two channels that were mentioned in the task. Uh, I used the uh, telephone uh, to, to scrap the data from Telegram. I was able to extract the data uh, for, 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 the post, for the message data. Uh, I was able uh, to, uh, to to uh, to put it in four fields like uh, message ID. I use the message ID so that I can uh, I can I can make make relation if I want to with the images. And I have uh, extract sender ID and the message text which contains the information. Then channel name, uh, the channel I extracted from. Uh, like you see here, uh, I have uh, for the image part, I have uh, used the two channels to extract the uh, image from them. Um, I was able to extract the data. Uh, here is my script, uh, like you see here, uh, that I was able to extract the data from. Then the next uh, thing I done was uh, uh, cleaning the data. Uh, that extraction is here. Here, lo loading keywords I have used. Uh, yes. Uh, like uh, st uh, storing the data in like uh, like mentioned in the task, it says uh, first of all uh, uh, put it on your local uh, machines so that uh, I, I used uh, I I change it to uh, uh, CSV file and uh, put it in my local uh, uh, machine. Uh, that that was the the all the options that I I, I take uh, to convert it to uh, to uh, CSV and the storage, uh, the image part, I use, uh, I put it on my local machine. Then the next thing I done was uh, data cleaning. Uh, here, here is my script uh, where I I was uh, uh, 
clean the raw data, the message CSV that I have stored in my local machine, that I have changed it to put it on my local machine. Then I have done a data cleaning, like you see here, removing duplication, handling missing values, uh, like that, standardizing formats. Uh, after that, uh, uh, I moved to the, the, uh, the DPT part, uh, where uh, I, I, I configure my DPT uh, project, uh, like you see here, uh, from starting from here, installing the, here is also my director structure, uh, look for DPT. Uh, where I here is a module where um, the models that I have used. Uh, like Abraham said, I haven't able to do much transforming. Uh, like say, uh, like he said, I, I was able to do one transforming. Uh, I didn't understand what else, uh, what transformation I was able to do. Therefore, I haven't done a lot of transformation. Uh, but like you see here, uh, here is my director look like after uh, just cleaning up, I said also like, uh, again, uh, in C in CSV file, then, um, Sorry, then the next, uh, okay. Um, can you mention the, the one transformation that you've done? Uh, I, I like you see here, I change the text to uppercase, like Abraham said. Okay, okay, Continue. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, text I've changed to that. Uh, after that, uh, what I've done was uh, running the DBT. Uh, after that, pasting the DBT, I was able to successfully done that. And uh, finally, I was able to serve also uh, because my port uh, uh, was uh, not available. I changed the port to this one. And uh, here is uh, what my DBT after serving looks like my DBT dashboard. Might not be visible a lot, but uh, here was uh, how it looked like. And uh, after that, I moved to YOLO uh, using YOLO V5 to uh, to detect uh, for uh, object det detection. Uh, uh, and I've also learned a lot in this project. I, I was a little bit confused between uh, image detection and image classification. Uh, but after uh, seeing those lectures, I was able to understand both of them clearly. Uh, I used as a you know V5 uh, and uh, here here are here are some the, some of the levels I'm able to get. I haven't got a lot in in a lot. Of, uh, I haven't able to get uh, all leveled uh, all uh, my images, uh, but uh, I was able to get what, almost 1,900 like that uh, labeled uh, from those images, uh, labeled images. And uh, so here, so, so, like Abraham said, there was uh, some. Uh, also not clear and not accurate uh, labeling like you see here it says bottle uh, uh, here also bottle uh, some confusion but also it's also have some strong uh, de de detection like you see here the toothbrush he, he was able to detect the toothbrush uh, brush it was uh, a very amazing uh, to see that and uh, like you see here, it was able to detect the uh, silicon also. Here also some mis uh, mis uh, accuracy here there, but uh, it it was uh, it was able. I was able to detect uh, some of uh, the uh, the objects. Uh, and uh, I have uh, I have uh, for for uh, for loading it after uh, extracting, transforming, and. Uh, for loading it to my Postgres database, I've changed the, the each 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 object. This one uh, mapped with uh, with their name, so that I can when I uh, I, I drop uh, when I put my data into my Postgres database, so so that, so that it was the numbers. Therefore, I changed it to their names. Like here, a person uh, was a number, but I have mapped with. Uh, different words uh, that are uh, in your the your, your v5 can be able to detect and uh, map some with that and uh, uh, load it to my postgres database uh, the last task was uh, exposing uh, my data uh, via uh, fast uh, api uh, to implement a curve operation like uh, uh, gate uh, post in the uh, put in the delete uh, I was able also to do that. Here is my director structure, looks like. Uh, I was able to uh, hear uh, the, for different modal.py here for, I was, 
I was able to test for uh, data for the data part for for the image part. I haven't done a lot uh, because uh, I haven't tested. Uh, I've done I've done the task, but I haven't tested it. But for the for 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 the message part, I was able to test it in post uh, for the medical data part. I was able to test it in post uh, I was able to do the CRUD operations. Uh, here is how it looks like. And uh, uh, if uh, here is my um, is my Postgres visible? Sorry, Matthias, what have you said? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Okay. It is not visible. Me... It is not. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is now visible? Yeah, it is okay, okay. Uh, here is a uh, data uh, uh, detected uh, data part where I was able to coordinate for each box uh, change the name uh, for coordinates so that I can able to get more uh, understanding uh, here is a confidence score for each and like I said I was uh, I, I'm up with uh, the, the numbers I get detected from your load so different uh, names that I, I could understand them. And here, like you see here, person, laptop, different detected uh, objects. Uh, here is a timestamp. For the medical data part, uh, for the medical part, the, the, the part, like I said, it is a message ID so that I can match it, like I said previously, the message part. And uh, here are the different channels, uh, the different channels I, I extracted from. Uh, here is uh, over all my projects uh, looks like. Thank you for giving me this chance. Thank Okay. Thank you very much, Matthias. It was a very nice presentation and um, very nice job that you have done. Uh, I actually have no question on, your, uh, on anything that you've uh, presented. Maybe Yaya? Yaya, uh, yeah, are you there? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was disconnected. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that Am I audible? Yes, you are. Hello. You are audible. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear us? Sorry, my, my, my network. Yeah, your network is breaking, I guess. Yeah. So maybe as a, as a suggestion until then, Matthias, I yeah, really yeah, yeah. Appreciate, uh, it. I would, I... I appreciate how you have your project. Uh, <laughs> the folder structure of your GitHub, how you put it that. Yeah, it's, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't following, sorry. Hmm? Okay. Okay, Junior. Hard time hearing you. Okay. Sorry. Are, are we audible for other for other people? Am I am I am audible, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think AI is also breaking. So we can go uh, next. Who is willing to present next? Maybe Adasa. Nadasa, can you hear us? Can you hear me actually? Sure, Junior, you can share your work. You can share your work here, Yadasa, I can't. We would like to hear your presentation, both of you actually. But if you are not in an appropriate place or things like that, if it is, if it's a must enough to not present, then you can share us. Junior, you can share us on the, 
you can share us here and the Adasa. Also, maybe if you have something to share, you can share us here too. Okay, that's a junior. Okay, uh, it seems like you've done all the, all the tasks and very nice. So, I thank you everyone for sharing. For the other side, uh, yeah, that's okay. You can't write junior Matthias in the room. It's young, that's young. Maybe you can share us your thoughts here, or maybe if you can present. Dion, can you hear us? Okay, recommendation for... Are you able to present or write your... Uh, uh, it's not a report, but write your... Something what you've done in the chat booth, if you can. So, on future recommendation... Incremental development and testing, data validation and monitoring, financial object detection, explore transfer learning takes to find two new low models. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good idea. Advanced analytics, data governance, and security. Okay. Very nice, very, very nice, Junior, and thank you for sharing. Yeah, yeah, are you there? So I think we can in yeah, the session. Sure. Okay, yeah. Maybe if you have a comment on the uh, the uh, things that are in the chat board, okay. I wasn't following. I was disconnected. Yeah, I was just reading what Junior had written on the. Um, uh, oh, I I didn't get it. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, on Matthews, uh, it, it was a good start. Uh, writing your repo on Medium, uh, that's a good experience. Um, I, I hope I, I will read it uh, okay. because the, the 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 start the it, it it was too much at the introduction part, but it, it was great. Uh, did he include the DAG graphs from the DVT? I was just wondering. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't heard you. Did he include the, what? The DAG. The diagrams from DVT for the ENT. Yeah, yes. I will include some some image, some screenshots. Uh, uh, have for for the DBT in the for your law. Uh, I've I've included some. You can see on uh, on the block. I think my network is not good. I'm not sure. I can't hear you. You are audible. I think it's a yes network. It's my side, yeah. But I I, I will read it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you everyone for being here and for presenting. Uh, it was a good presentation, both of you, Abraham and Matthias. Yeah. So yeah, good luck with this week's task and goodbye everyone. Thank you.